what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk brother young thug um he's a good brother man he does things uh, a little weird he calls rappers bay sometimes or guys you know he i don't know I, I think he was doing a lot of stuff to kind of get on but i think that he's a solid brother man uh, he even offered to send some money to the brother stuck in uh in ukraine trying to come over from africa when you know that war started off i believe that young thug has a good heart uh, unfortunately there have been some charges levied against our brother and I, I'm going to come out and, and give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not, I'm going to hope that these are not true because again, like we've seen with brother Kevin, man, the media will say anything, uh, to throw these black men out there and say that they have this, but he has been arrested on alleged charges facing 500 years. And these are, um, basically a 56 count indictment about pretty much you know, them having like a, a, a group called Young Slime Life, you know, they're um, operating with, you know, you know, murder, armed robbery and criminal street gang activity. Basically, allegedly, they out there just, you know, gang banging it up and all that kind of stuff. OK. And they said that in 2015 that Young Thug um, rented a car that ended up somebody ended up getting getting shot and that Young Thug was calling shots and getting people out these particular clicks i just want to say this okay because i don't know how true it is i hope it's not true but one of the problems that i see with a lot of young black rappers are young black men in general and black men they they feel that they may need to live up to a certain level of street credibility like we even seen that even though takashi 69 is not black we saw that the, the streets can influence the rappers. Look at Tupac. Tupac wasn't no blood, but he was hanging out with my Piru and Suge Knight. And anybody can be influenced by this. Athletes can be influenced by gangs and stuff like that, man. I, I just want to talk to guys about this because, you know, you are the company that you keep. And I want to tell, you know, a lot of brothers out there that if you're a businessman, you got to be that you can't be a businessman and the dope man at the same time. It's just not going to work, brother. Um, I know that some of y'all may feel that you can have one foot in or one foot out, but you just can't. And the problem for some of these guys that may have been involved in some of these activities and they still rap about some of this stuff that they're still could be associated with certain people from that life and here's the issue that folks are gonna have because if you come up in certain cities like if you look at some of these rappers who have who've gotten killed they're they're not moving away some of them may still stay in the same areas and still associating with the same people when in reality you got to do like what jay-z did Jay-Z, as he started ascending, everything started changing. Even guys like Kevin Samuels here on YouTube. Now, Kevin Samuels wasn't selling drugs, but I'm just saying like if Jay-Z, Jay-Z was a drug dealer. But as his influence grew, his money grew, the people that he hung around also changed. Those people who could cause problems, and even if they loved them and stuff like that, just to be associated with them. Cause all somebody got to really do is say certain things. And you know, the, you know, the, the GBI, the Georgia Bureau of investigations don't come pick you up. And I think for him is, you know, when you're an artist, bro, you, you do, I think you do have a lot of downtime, you know? Um, I think the artists work and maybe they might be not on tour or maybe not as hot as they used to. So now they start doing other stuff. They start getting influenced. And, and, and rappers can be influenced, man. Um, artists can be influenced by people who don't have shit. And that is the fundamental issue. You see, like when you're in the business world and you have to like build yourself as an entrepreneur, it's kind of hard because you're so tied up in the business. But when you're a rapper, 
and then you kind of get in the business and then like you know and you might be hanging around with certain from the street elements you're still there and no matter what you you say those people can bring you down and i want black men just to understand that if if if, if anything the people who are around you if they're not where you at what is going to happen to you guys? I'm gonna tell you right now. They're going to bring you down. And it's even not by, it, it might not even be on purpose, man. You know, even, even with my family, I had to get out of the country, guys, to get to where I'm at now. I left Poland. I didn't, I had less than $5,000 left in the United States coming to Poland. And I had to get to someplace else to find who I was, get some confidence, pressure myself, rise to the occasion, do something different. Kevin Samuels is from Oklahoma City. He was living there when I met him. Moved to Atlanta, got away from where he was, went out on a limb. We talking about him today, okay? Everybody has to do something like that. You need to get around and around the people who are doing what you want to do. Put yourself out there. Get around people who are doing better than you, not people who are doing things that may draw you in. Now, I don't know how true this is. I hope that it's false. I hope that he beats it. But for you guys who don't understand it, cut these people off. It don't mean that you don't love them. But I'm going to tell you one thing. It's either you or them. And at the end of the day, in life, you only got to look out for yourself. You have to look out for yourself. You have to do the right thing. You have to. Because people are never going to do the right thing for you, brother. And as a black man, <laughs> your time is already limited. You're predisposed to health issues. You're predisposed to all this shit. And I hope, brother Young Thug, um... You know, you're a black man. I believe you have a decent heart. And I'm saying everybody's perfect. But brother, once you get through with this shit, any of those people. And I know in the rap game, a lot of that, a lot of those rappers are doing real shit. Bro, you better be better be careful, brother. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It's hard to tell these guys that have more money than you any goddamn thing. That's the thing about black men. Once they get more money, you can't tell them nothing. Who you think you tell her, bro? Bro, I'm just trying to give you some advice. Man, I ain't got to listen to you. Nigga, you broke. See, that's what happened. Now your ass is locked up. Man, I really wish I would listen to you, blood. Cuz. All that kind of stuff. I, I know you did. With your dumb ass. Now, I'm not saying that about him, but I'm just saying in general. Don't be too big when you can't take no advice, brothers. I love you guys. Stay, stay up. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. I'm out.